Hello everybody, back here again for vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 20th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got up this morning fairly early, earlier than I wanted to, but it is what it is. Um, woke up, and my throat is straight fire. Um, my nose is feeling all congested and shitty, and it feels like I did before I left, and I'm wondering if it's like... A weird adult onset allergies or something. I feel like, I don't know if I'm allergic to my house, I don't know if I'm allergic to Florida. I don't know what the hell it is, but by Wednesday up north, I started feeling a lot better. And my congestion went away, throat stopped hurting for the most part. And I get back here in the first night, and I did have the ceiling fan blowing on me on um, medium instead of low, which sometimes I used to be, I couldn't sleep with the ceiling fan at all to dry my throat out. This is what this feels like. My, like I said, my head's all super congested as well. So, I am super concerned about what's that up with that. So I don't know if we have like an allergy in the house. Like I didn't need to run my um, air filter that kills off everything because mom's still here. So with her in the house, she nobody can live in the house. So and she's like unwilling to go outside the house for any length of time and anything. So I can't ever run my um, air filter to kill off any um, smells or germs or bacteria or anything going on there, any mold or anything. So I think I might have to. Um, Looking to get like a UV light or something for my um, air con uh, furnace. Air conditioner. It goes in by the A-coil, whatever kind of thing. I have to look into getting something like that because I'm wondering if my house is making me sick. But I didn't see nothing last time I changed the filter. I didn't see anything odd looking up in there. So, But you can't tell with mold and stuff. Sometimes they're very tiny and there's no way of knowing. But it makes me really nervous and scared and sad that I got to feeling better. And I thought, well, it's just the flu, whatever. I got over it. I get back here and I'm get my ass kicked. So maybe it's just an allergy and I gotta get like allergy medication or something. I don't know. But it makes my brain feel um, less sharp, if that makes sense. Like it literally is kicking my ass. So yeah, who knows? But got up, went outside, was able to jump in the hot tub, um, got my little soak on right there, which I'd had I turned the tub way down when I left because I thought no reason to heat the hot tub I'm gone all week and then I had mom turn the water up yesterday, I think it would have been. So, or day before, I don't fucking know now, whatever it was. When I knew we were coming home early, I uh, basically told her to turn it up and it made it to full temp again. So, I was able to jump in there, um, got my little hot tub soak on. So, that worked out nice for me. And then, got back inside, uh, wife got up, and it was time to uh, take her to urgent care, trying to x rays on her knee. And there's one much farther north. We, um, that has x-ray all the time i guess whatever and then the one here local to us sometimes does sometimes doesn't have x-ray techs whatever so i said hey why don't you please just call them and see the x-ray tech because for the most part they do pretty good here and it'll save us a lot of driving time and whatnot and i'm clearly the one driving her which i don't mind but just call and check less time she has right in the car because she's running the car all week and whatever whatnot so called they said they had the x-ray tech there for good to talk to the farmers there that um i guess urgent clinic what do you want to call it so went there chilled out in the urgent clinic um got her saw by the doctor and filled out everything so they ordered x-rays went across the hallway got x-rays and got back in there and he claimed on the x-ray he didn't see anything broken so it's which x-rays don't do the best examination like it's mris and all the cat scan there's all kinds of better stuff out there but he said from the way her pain presented to him the way he was pushed on it and pulling on it and twisting on it and all stuff he thinks it's a really bad sprain which is very possible or a torn meniscus so he said well give it a week and then if this right here da da da, da then come back and we'll check for this other stuff if it's not and i'm like okay i'm like well it's already been a week since dang since the fall happened that she's been having pain on it for a week so now it's two weeks if we wait so i'm like how about we just go ahead and because she even agreed let's just go ahead and go to see the regular doctor the knee doctor she had from her knee surgery when she had her weak broken kneecap so yeah there's that so we went ahead he called in a prescription and he said um right next door and I go, yeah he goes well it might take like five minutes i said we're just gonna walk right next door and wait it's no big deal he said cool so we went next door got there they checked didn't have anything for her Wait a little while, checked, didn't have anything for Wait a little while, checked, didn't have anything for Then the pharmacy asked us to go back and check if they'd sent it over yet. I think it maybe got lost in the, in the, in the, in the webs. Let's get back in there, talk to the lady at the front desk. And she says they called it into Walgreens. And I'm like, 
why would you do that? Like, we were supposed to be here. And she goes, well, I was supposed to be clarified there. I'm like, oh, we never use Walgreens or anything. Like, we always use here. And anytime we're here, we always use next door. Even, and I had forgotten at that moment. So, so like, God damn it, just get the prescription filled. Like, can you cancel Walgreens and call it back into here? Because we're already here. And I want to get my wife home because her leg hurts. And he twists and pulls out a lot. So I'm trying to get her home. I'm trying to be nice to this lady. So I'm like, well, can we update our, our policy right here that it always goes right next door? She goes, well, that should have been done in the room. I'm like, well, do I need to walk back in that room with you so then I can tell you to update it for future experiences? Because we clearly did not say Walgreens here. And we don't know who did. We don't know when it was ever said Walgreens. Because we always go next door. And then after I, we asked, like, what the hell? She was pissy. And she said, well, it can take an hour. I'm like, why? Well, they got to gotta call out to Walgreens. They got to cancel it. They got to be able to put it back on the shelf. And then they did. I'm like, Bitch, it's been seven, eight minutes. Like, it's not been long. I'm like, I know Walgreens. There's no way in shit they pulled this yet. But apparently she wouldn't call it in next door until Walgreens actually canceled it and put it back on the shelf. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? Just goddamn it. So I told my wife, I'm like, hey, let's go ahead and just take you home. This place is open until like 1 p.m. I'll come back when the, when the thing gets there and stuff. And she goes, well, I want to wait and make sure I haven't got it. So we were talking back and forth. I still don't know if they updated our pharmacy to this pharmacy ever. And then they went ahead as we were going to take off. And hey, we're just going to give up their post. We sent them back to you later. So they checked. They said, absolutely, we got it. They sent it to us. He's filling it right now. And I'm like, no, thank you guys so much. This was not on you at all in any way, shape, or form. You guys have done great and whatnot. And they were super kind. Got our prescription, headed home. But this is going home, I remember, I go, son of a bitch, I want to drive back and yell at that woman. Because the doctor, when he wrote it, had said, are you guys pharmacy, getting pharmacy right next door? And I said, absolutely, that's where we're going, right next door. So he, we had to tell him in the goddamn room, we were going right next door. Because he goes, well, okay, give it like five minutes. Because we were going to Walgreens, we would have a 10 minute drive over to Walgreens. Why would we think we need to wait five minutes to get this? So he knew. So I don't know if somebody else, that woman screwed up, if the doctor punched the wrong button or what. But she made it like it was our fucking fault here. And... I don't mind. I don't mind mistakes. When I make a mistake, I happily own it. All that shit. But when it's your mistake, and I had told them, we're, the doctor and I had discussed, we, they know we're next door, and somehow they're, but you're talking down to me like I'm some kind of fucking asshole because it's saying it's my fault and it's not my fault. We had said, the doctor had said, doctor made a mistake or you made a mistake. I don't know. But somebody in your office made a mistake, not us, because we had said next door. He said, since you're going next door, give them like five minutes for me to type it in. I said, absolutely, not a big deal. So we clearly did the right thing. May have been her that screwed up, may have been us, I have no idea. But I wanted to go back and yell at that woman. And didn't, I wanted to get my wife home. I wanted to get ice on her leg, all that good stuff. So get back home, get ice on her leg, get her some pain pills, whatever, into it. Like, that's no, actually where the hell it is on anti inflammatory, whatever the hell she's on. We get her in that. And then from there, basically kind of chilling around a little bit. The, uh, Painter guys working on my house that came, started painting the other house across the street a little bit, power cleaning it up and doing some other things and whatever and whatnot. Didn't really pay too much attention to it. So not really the biggest concern in my life right now. But um, I did see him before I um, headed out to take her to the urgent care. I went over there and we discussed a few things in the other house across the street. And I was like, I literally have like six minutes. So whatever you need to tell me, tell me fast. He tried to walk me back across the street like, talk about I'm like no I get tired I'm like if I go back across the street I'm leaving so just show me what you want right now like I have six minutes before I'm leaving to get my wife to urgent care so I had a little talk in there and then came back he was already gone but we texted through each other through phones and stuff through text messages and discussed what was going on and how much he got done and so on and so forth so kind of is what it is there he did text me a um, photo of the north side of my house and I was like yeah, okay it's fine but I'm much concerned about the south side of the house that's what needs multiple coats and I'd even offered to pay a couple hundred bucks extra or whatever it needed to be to put an extra coat on that because the south side gets its ass kicked really really bad so I don't know if it'll happen or not but who knows we'll see what happens so but yeah we checked there and then got back to the house wife just kind of resting around and stuff and all the good fun stuff that comes with being injured lack of a better term and from there we were talking she I offered for me to go to the Tom and Dan event and she said she was not up to it she did not want to go and she probably could have. We could have went through in the wheelchair before she gets in around. Or two, just took her in there, chucked her down on a bench somewhere, and let people come talk to her that want to talk to her. So, which is probably what we should have done. Who the hell knows? But so I head over there. I, I reached out. Some other people asked if they were going, kind of looking because I, we were not supposed to be in the mountains until tomorrow. So we weren't supposed to be here for this. So I didn't make any groups. I didn't get a like 
you know, cabana to sit in and all that kind of stuff. So, and I'm really not wanting to be there be, before dark too much. I don't want to stand out in the sun all day and get some burnt. It started like 5 p.m. It's too fucking early for this event. So, went ahead and said, held it, and um, reached out. A couple people were like, oh, we might be there. A couple were like, we're not. One of them was like, hey, no, I'm working today. I got to work at like 4.30 in the, uh, in the morning and stuff, so I can't go out tonight. And it's, it's a weird, weird schedule that the guy works, so it's hard telling. And him and his wife. So I don't know if she was going to ask us. They were both going. He said he was going to make it. So I don't. I didn't think to ask if she was going to make it or not. But um, we reached out a couple of them first. Basically, nobody was going. One of them said we're hoping to get there in time for the fire dancers and whatnot. I said, well, I small chance I might get there. Then midday came rolling around, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, what the hell? So I went for a run. Um, got up and around, got back, got a shower, ate some um, chicken and parm, potatoes, whatever and knocked it out and I was sitting around I was like what the hell it's gonna be loud as shit there it's gonna be kind of sucky but and without my wife there it's never it's, it's just a different vibe so said to hell with it and said fuck I don't care I'm just gonna go so I knew I know people will be there and I know I'll find someone to get out of the sun by the time I get there I guess it should be getting about dark by the time I get there so that'll make it easier for that whole process so I drove over it's like an hour rolled up in and basically chilling out it's like a weird pool bar like it's a it's got a pool, it's got some cabanas, it's got a strange bar looking area, it kind of has a cruise ship feel. And they had the stereo speakers up so loud. And the guys, Tom and Dan, were like on the mic doing like a hula, or not hula, but a um, limbo contest and stuff. And it was, they're just, it's so loud. Like it sounds like they're screaming in your ear the whole time. So anytime you're trying to talk to their friends, you're not yelling at them, trying to talk to them, trying to talk with the speakers. And this place has speakers everywhere. So it's just so fucking annoying and so loud. So. But had some good conversations, chat a lot of people. Um, kind of just as the night went on, hit up other little pockets of people that I talked to and stuff, whatever. Talked to a couple of new people I'd never talked to before. It's always kind of interesting. Um, just kind of do my thing. So, but I'm more of a long conversation type person. Like I'm not like I'm not the one. Just I don't know. I just more of a long, boring conversation kind of guy. So, so ended up having a couple other people stop by and chat with me as I stand up for kind of. Away, as far as I get from the speakers, as far as I So then I ended up seeing uh, a couple other people, Jimmy, Tori, and stuff. They were there, talked to them. Ended up talking to uh, another one of the hosts of the show's wife and chatting her a little bit. And I'm like, you know, we were talking, and he's training for a triathlon. Turns out she's also training for a triathlon, but she doesn't want to tell anybody because she's like afraid of like not completing it and failing. And then have everybody know and everybody kind of giving her a hard time and stuff. So, uh, so we talked a lot about that. It's funny because she's, she's kind of a little bit of a big deal as event. Like kind of thinks it's, it's the whole wife, the host, and da, 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 whatever. But we were chatting quite a bit. And people were like, what the hell? And like her legitimately really good friends are like right there at the table and all talking and stuff. And she goes, what are you guys talking about? And I'm like, oh, we're talking about doing drugs? And just like weird shit. So I couldn't tell them we're talking about her doing a triathlon because... She doesn't want you to know she's doing a triathlon, so I can't tell you, like, she don't want me to tell you what we're talking about. That sounds fucking weird. And they're going to bug the shit out of her after and stuff, too. So I'm just, like, making up every time. Like, I'm, like, talking about moving couches for, like, and I was like, oh, yeah, we were just moving. That was so funny. Just kind of, like, making up shit every time. I was like, what are you guys talking about? And I was just make up new shit. And she would start laughing at me because, like, she doesn't, she didn't know what to say, what we were talking about. So I just kept lying about what we were talking about to everybody, making fun of that. She's, like, cracking up. She goes, where'd you come up with moving couches? I'm like, I have no fucking idea. But it was good. So we talked about, actually, I reached out to her. She was looking for somebody to go to an Aerosmith concert with her. And I told her I would happily take her. And I said, I rarely ever drink. So I'll get you home safe. There's no worry about that crap and everything else and stuff. But because her husband doesn't, he has like resting asshole face. And he just looks like he's never having fun on anything ever. So, and she doesn't want to be with somebody there not having fun. But well, I've known her. I um, helped her when I, she was a real estate agent that I, used when I sold the house in Orlando years ago. I actually met her, the wife of the podcast list too. I met her before I met the host of the podcast. So I've known her for ever, basically ever since I got down here to Florida. I met her before I met Tom and Dan even. So but yeah, we talked and chatted a little bit and stuff. She's good people. I like Crystal a lot. She's a lot of fun. But it was so funny that we're talking about something that I can't tell her like really good friends right at the table what we're talking about because like they don't they don't, she don't want them to know. So that was kind of funny. But yeah, it was interesting. So we chatted a while on that and then ended up hitting up, talking to a bunch of people and a couple of people asking my dog business, all kinds of just random stuff. So but yeah, it was an all right night. Um, my buddy who was, uh, had to work at 4.30, he did show up. Him and his wife were there. They hung out for a while on that and then he had to take off early. 
and I basically checked. I didn't drink any alcohol at all. So made sure that I talked to you before I left. I'm like, hey, if you guys need to ride anywhere, if you need to, you know, driver, happily do that. Come back in the vehicles the next day, whatever. We can figure it out. But everybody said they were good. So at least did my attempt. But if somebody was drunk enough to, you know, get DUI or kill somebody, whatever, I didn't have that on my conscience. I at least tried to make that stop. So didn't have to worry about it. So but yeah, got back home. Um, kind of a that long drive at night. I'm like, what the hell? So I got here, talked to my wife for a bit, let her know kind of how it all went and whatnot. Kind of had this little conversation. And then went outside, had myself a cigar, and enjoyed a, for the most part, beautiful evening. So that's all I got for right now. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.